Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Leno56 and welcome back to some more Stationeers on Europa. So in this episode, what I would like to do is continue working on our hydroponics room and continue building our hangar. Uh, with the hangar, I'm going to need a lot more steel than what I currently have and I'm going to have to make some more hangar doors and then obviously build the, the landing pad in here and everything but I'm excited to get the hangar up and running so we can start to get some trading going uh, not that we can't get trading already but yeah I want to be able to get some of those bigger ships and then um, start trading in, in some gases and stuff uh, I also want to build the big satellite dish on top of the hangar as well where basically I just control everything from the hangar instead of uh, having to go outside, calling the ship, going back into the hangar, and, you know, kind of all that stuff. But I'm excited to also get the powered vents and everything to pressurize the hangar. Um, and then I also want to continue working on our hydroponics room. And I don't know why my helmet's on. There we go. Yeah, I want to uh, continue working on our hydroponics room. Basically, I'm just going to have to expand this room out that way more so that I can put all of our chutes and everything along this portion right here and then the sorting system behind here so I can start so I can sort all of our uh, different plant types and stuff. So there's a few things I want to try to do this episode. Hey, good morning. So, with that being said, let's make some more steel frames so I can actually expand this room out some more. Let's see, we have steel. So we do have some, we have quite a bit of steel actually. Um... I have a bunch of steel sheets on me, so that's no problem. Like, I have a lot of steel sheets on me. Holy cow. So let's make some more steel frames. I'm seeing 25, 25. What's another... So I need 55 steel frames, which would be 110. Well, actually, I only need 35 which would be 70. Alright. Put you... Wow. Put you in there. Let's do steel frames. And we'll start making these guys. And then while I'm doing that, let's take a look at our atmospherics really quick. Because I have a feeling Oh, that's what I'm hearing. I was hearing a really weird sound. It's the uh the centrifuges. Um 30% 31, 81. Yeah, our, uh, these are getting rather low. So what I might end up doing is making some more heavy filters for each of these. Um... Grant, I don't really need to make them quite yet. <laughs> also, between episodes, I got uh, a comment from someone with some coding for a door control where once one door closes the other one will open so then I can uh, kinda keep each room sorta of separate so if something does happen I can uh, not have my entire base depressurize so what I might end up doing is testing that out I did save the code So, let's do that. I need copper, steel, and solder. Copper, steel. 
and then I need some solder, which is right here. And let's just make one of those housings really quick. I also need to go find my laptop, which I think I left in the atmospherics. So there's that. So with this, what I'll probably do is I can face it like right there. I also need a a golden electrum. Oh, we have plenty of gold. And then I need electrum, which in here so I just need one of you yeah I never actually tested the uh, the door control code out that I had I basically just um, saved it because I wanted to test it out in the episode so there's that, let's get you, put you there, and put you there. Alright, so let's test this out. So we'll clear this, and then library. Alright. Testing in production like a real professional. <laughs> so, exterior door, interior door, mode one, RO exterior setting, interior setting, branch to line C if A does not equal B. So if A equals B, okay, so I guess let's test this out. So we'll export you, we'll throw you in there really quick. And then I need to label the doors. So this would be exterior and interior yeah that's what I was trying to do which failed but this actually works quite well Nice. And now I just have to do that on every <laughs> door that I have. I just kind of wanted to test it out more than anything. I'm probably not going to do it right now. Since we do have our frames, let's um, expand our hydroponics out. That's Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. So, yeah, when you exit a room, it just blocks that one off. So if something happens, like the entire base isn't affected all right so let's head outside my food and water are okay for right now all right so let's do this So I'm gonna have to expand this out. So two, oh geez.
Alright. There's that. I need to turn my light on. And then I have to do the top part, and then I have to delete the clad in. And actually, I'm five steel frames short. I forgot about the top part. Oh well. Two, three, four, five. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm five steel frame short because I need five on the bottom, then five on the top. And I don't think I'm going to have enough battery in my arc welder to finish the top part, but that's okay. And I'm not actually finishing it, I'm just doing a single weld right now on it. Uh, I was close. And then, yeah, I'm going to have to try to trade for mushrooms because I accidentally put the grow lights above the mushrooms, which completely killed them all, which is sad. Although, I was going to trade with this dude. I overshot it. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to trade with this guy. If I remember correctly, it was going to be for chocolate, because we have mushrooms for 300. Or, I could get sugarcane and cocoa, buy both of those, and then I, and then I could actually sell a box of chocolate, or a, a big box of chocolate for 300, to buy the, uh, the mushroom seeds. Which, part of me actually really wants to do that. Because I've never made chocolate before, so let's see here. Organics and food. Chocolate bar. Ten sugar from sugar cane and ten and two cocoa from cocoa or cocoa powder. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's just more for, like, decompression safety. It's not something I have to do, but it's just kind of adds that little extra boost of security. So if something does happen, it doesn't, like, completely destroy the rest of my base. Sugar and then cocoa. Yeah, let's actually try that. So 250 or 100... So I need 350, which means what I'll probably end up doing is let's make some utility liquid pipes to actually sell. Because, yeah, I kind of want to start a chocolate empire as well. I think that would be fun. I need more steel frames. That's kind of cool. Not going to lie. Um, let's see here. I need more steel frames, which means I need more steel. All 
I like it, but there is a slight delay to it too, so I'm not sure if I can kind of mess around with the code to see if I can get rid of it or... Alright, so let's put another battery right here just to be on the safe side. And I have an extra transformer on me. I can't re remember what I needed that transformer for. But we will just put in here for right now so then I have some extra room. Right, and you're done, so let's head back outside and then I can take care of the cladding out there too. Um, while I'm thinking about it, we are actually going to eat some food and drink some water since we're kind of getting a little bit low on both of those. I also need to make some more food too. Alright, let's head back outside. Okay, so we'll grab steel sheets, arc welder, oh god, oh well. I'm also going to have to make some walls and stuff as well. That's done. Let's deconstruct this clad in here. Let's see. How do I want to do this part? Actually, that can stay like that. delete both of those okay and then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the wind turbines as well because I'm gonna have, probably have to extend those out but I'm not gonna be really be able to that much because I don't want to fry our cable so probably gonna have to do some math That's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that there. We're going to redo these cables. Hmm. Let's do it this way. I have an idea on how I want to do this. Because I don't want the cables to be in the frames in case I have to like fix it. So we'll put those there for right now. Let's grab our arc welder and our frames and we'll do this. Alright. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is do something like this. At least I, until I can figure out what to do with all the wind turbines here. 
because I would like to cover this entire top part, but I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. There we go. All right, let's go down below. And then we'll put the remaining five still frames down here. Mark Walder. All right, perfect. So then, yeah, I think all, all my shoots are going to go right here. And then our sorting system is going to go back here. And what I might end up doing is placing like an interior door right here or something so that I can go between these two rooms. Not that I really need to. I could just have this um, exposed as well. But I think if I had like a wall right here or something where you couldn't see all this in here, that would be make it look a little bit better maybe. Alright, let's put that in there. And I guess what I can start doing is actually uh, button all this up. So speaking of, we're going to weld you. And let's start welding all of this. Making this all airtight. And then I'm going to need a bunch of walls and stuff too. That is a lot of welding. I can't wait to weld our hangar. It's going to be so much fun. I was going to do that in between episodes, but I completely spaced it. Alright, so that's done. Now we need some walls, but before I do that, let's place some of the cladding, because we have a bunch of cladding on us, so I can actually do that really quick. steel frame would be perfect if I had it right there but that's fine all right let's do you and you air tank low air tank low that's not good Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to have to redo this bottom piece. So that's going to go like that. And 
and like that. Oh, nope, that's wrong. There we go, that looks better. Alright, so that's gonna look something like that. Let's fix this top piece really quick. There we are. That looks good. Okay. So I need one more steel frame so I can finish this part. And then I need a bunch more cladding so I can finish this uh, outer section here. And then I need walls. And then I need to... Uh, well, I need to get probably all the oxygen out of here instead of trying to heat it up. And then I can actually break these windows and pressurize this room. What I might actually do as well is let's put our mine, let's equip our mining belt and so I can get rid of probably some of this right here. If I go down one more, well, that's probably fine. I wonder if I should just take this entire mountain out. I mean, it's not that big. And I'll be able to do it fairly easily. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I might end up doing that, because it's that, that'll take no time at all. Okay, so let's go inside and make some walls. So I need 5, 10, I need at least 15 walls. And then I need an active vent and a passive vent so I can actually um, push all the air out of here. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because I think I have some powered vents somewhere. Let's use a powered vent. I think that'll make it be a little bit better. My air is almost completely gone. Oh, my light was off. Yeah, let's go fill up our air tank really quick. And boom. Perfect. Speaking of, let's do... I also needed to make some some pipe utility. I need eight of these, which means I need 40 iron. Yeah, so we're going to make eight of or er, eight of these, which I can sell to the trader so I can buy sugarcane and uh, cocoa. So I can make chocolate bars, and which I can sell, and get the um, the mushroom seeds because I killed our mushrooms. Oh well. Let's see what was I doing? Oh, I, I need walls. So I need 15 walls. I have nine walls right there. Oh well. I can always use walls. Let's see, do I have a powered vent anywhere? I don't think I do, but that would actually be perfect for what I want to do here, so... Automated oven. Alright, you have two left. Steel Electroman Invar. So Invar. Steel. Let's get rid of the Electrum. Let's 
Let's make one right now. Alright, and you are done. Put you there. Uh, I have plastic and I have glass, although I, I need more glass than what I currently have. Speaking of, I need silicone, which we have a little bit of it right there, so I need 20. Let's merge these. All right. So I can sell these to the trader. Need more app need more powered events. Right, let's make one more. Cause I want to use the big one. Is what I would like to do. Electronic parts, okay. Does it say how many electronic parts I need? I guess I could do this. Two electronic parts and two plastic sheets. Okay, that's easy enough. So iron, gold, and copper. Where did all of the gold go? There it is. So I need two of these. So we have one. I have a pass event. I don't need another one. I also need to grab some pipe. So we'll do that. And electronic parts. Alright. I think we're good. Let's go back outside. I like that. Hey, good morning. All right, buddy, I have what you need. So 320, I need 350, I could do, I'm gonna be five short. Too bad I can't make a cake. Hmm. I suppose I could just buy the mushroom seed too. And then trade with someone. You know, I'm gonna figure out what to do with, about you, but let's go work on this re really quick. Oh jeez, I overshot that a little bit, and we're good. I never did make the cladding either, but that's okay. Alright, so we have walls and plastic. Yeah, we're just going to do a normal wall like, like that. Uh, 
There we go. Alright, so now that that's done, let's place these. What I'll probably do is do it from this side. I do want to control the vent from the outside here, so if I do it like this... I need a screwdriver. And then a welding torch and plastic sheets. Alright, so there's a powered vent. And these are what I'm going to use to pressurize our, our hanger. We'll have to do it like this. Alright, so now we need to actually hook this up to power, which the nearest power that I have would be right here. So. Alright, so that's hooked up. Let's put the windows on, which I didn't grab all the, the windows, that's okay. That's the one thing I forgot to do. So let's go ahead and grab those windows really quick, and then I should be able to uh, depressurize that section. have windows um, while I'm in here let's how much iron do we have 45 iron yeah let's get rid of everything in here because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bunch more cladding actually I have a bunch of cladding so I don't actually need it now that I think about it I didn't realize I forgot I had all of this stuff um, all right, we're gonna get rid of you. I need to make room. So let's grab all the cladding that I can here. That's probably enough now that I think about it, but. All right, and let's, let's head back out. Such a loser. I mean, 19. Wow. Hydration critical. Wow. 10-year-old bookstore. Alright. My water is almost completely gone. That's fine. I'll fix that in just a minute. All right, now I should be able to get all the air out of here.
Well, there's nothing in there, so that vent actually worked perfect. It's such a good way to get rid of uh, all the air in an area. That worked extremely bad, too. That was awesome. Alright, let's open up our helmet and then let's break these windows. I should have enough oxygen and everything. Let's close this door really quick. Uh, our plants should be okay, I hope. Yeah, we'll be fine. Then this should start to pressurize our base, or um, this room here for us. And my um, my water's getting really low, so while this stabilizes, what I'll probably do is let's go. Eat and drink really quick. Oops, over here. They need to increase the rate at which you drink. Cause that is so slow. You eat faster than you drink, which doesn't make any sense. Alright, so this is slowly increasing in pressure. So with that being said, let's deconstruct the, this wall right here. Even though I'm probably going to have the wall. Actually. Do I keep the windowed? I can always do it later, so let's just do this. I can always put the wall back here if I need to. There we are. Alright. So before I do anything, and before I accidentally turn this on, because it'll suck everything out of here, we are going to deconstruct this. There we go. Because I don't want to accidentally... Uh, vent all of our atmosphere out because this will vent it out extremely fast. I can't wait to use those to actually pressurize our hangar. Alright, perfect. So, now I need to get lights in here and then I can try to figure out how I actually want to do this. So let's go grab some lights. Which, if memory serves... Wow. I had two powered vents already. Dang it. That is what happens when you don't actually... <laughs> organize your stuff and I had a bunch of glass sheets already too and I have floor grading wow okay I have three lights I'm gonna need a lot more than that um, let's see here I need iron and copper so, we have iron, where's all our copper at? Oh, it's already in here. Yeah, we'll just start, start making some. Let's see, I need five, six, I need 12. 
So if I make all 19, I'm not going to feel bad about it. Uh, let's go outside and actually place the cladding around uh, that section. There's that. And then I also need a random steel frame as well. But for the most part, this is all done. I just need a steel frame to put here. And then the cladding should be completely done. I just need to figure out what to do on the top part there. Part of me wants to extend out our um, this wind turbine platform. But I'm not going to be able to have the three layers. Because that will definitely overwhelm our... Uh, our circuits and blow everything so what I'll probably do two three four five by two eight ten eleven by five so fifty five fifty five so I can go do at least two layers and have a little bit on the third I'm not going to do that right now because I want to keep working on our uh, our hydroponics. But I can kind of condense everything up a little bit. Alright, let's go back inside. So now, what I want to do is start laying out everything in our hydroponics room. Yeah, there is a slight delay to that, which I'm not a huge fan of. Alright, let's go place all of these. Oh yeah, this is going to look good. Alright, so I'm going to continue on the same uh, thing that I've been doing with, with these ones. So that's what I've been doing. I remember correctly, there should be a power line going right through here. I'm probably going to need more, um, more cable than what I currently have. So this is going to extend all the way down. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more cable than what I currently have. Because I'm almost completely out of this cable right here. Granted, I had enough for that section, but...
There we are. All right. So we're going to do the same thing down here. And then I have an extra 10 lights on me. All right, so let's go make a couple stacks of cable for us. And then I'm going to need some more powered chutes, so I'm going to need... Let's see, how many different plants are there? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Technically, there's these ones. But there's at least 12. And there's a bunch of flowers. and Interesting. So this is basically just there to cool. All right, so yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and right now I have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm gonna see how much we actually need to sort here. I need twelve sorters, which is quite a bit, or. Yeah, how do, how do I want to do this? Because I'd have to have four more on each side here, or two more on each side here. Which means that this is where the shoots would go, and then this is where everything would get sorted. I don't know if that's going to be big enough, to be honest with you. I can always try to, I can always test it out and see if that won't work. I have some extra cladding on me, so... Well, let's just put this stuff right here. Alright, let's go make some more cable. While I try to figure out how I want to do this. Because I would like to grow everything that I can. So let's do, so that'll make two stacks. Cable coil. Let's grab what we have right here and let's go. Oh, I think 30 was plenty. So if I can get at least 30, we should be fine. go all right all right let's hook all this up The only thing I'm really worried about right now is uh, the amount of power we have in this circuit. I might have to split this room into two separate networks, which is fine. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. So, this is all lit up. So now what I need to do is actually figure out how I want to sort everything. That's going to be the biggest issue. Because if I have two more on each side here, one, two, three, four, this is where my shoots would go.
Because it would be nice to have a little bit of everything. Not that I really need it. I mean, I guess I'd have three spaces for... Because what I could do is have a vending machine like right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out because I would like to grow every like one type of uh, every crop, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that or not. Let's start making the power advance and then I can kind of take a look at it. So, those are basic shoots and grow lights. So, if I have them right here, so the export bins would be right here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could. Actually, I can't do that because it's too bad the data port's not on the top. That would make much more sense. I can do one, two, three, four. five six so if I do it like this if we do one here it's gonna look kind of stupid but I mean it is what it is I suppose I could get six right here let's make some powered shoots I can try to figure out how I want to do this Oh boy. So let's do shoots, power shoots, iron, electrum, and constantan. So I should have all of that. I'm gonna have to make some more constantan. We're almost completely out. So for that, let's do ingots. Copper and nickel. Alright, let's go grab some copper and nickel. Close our helmet, and let's head outside. So let's make a little bit more. There we are. All right, so I need a hundred. be nothing else in there. Okay, we're good. Alright, so I need it to be 1,100 and then 20 MPA to 100. Okay, that's easy enough. So we're going to wait until there's one MPA of pressure in there before I actually start the furnace. Seven, eight, nine. Let's turn that off. And 
let's start you. So I need at least 20 MPA of pressure in there. We're at 17. All right, so let's get a little bit more in there. Let's see, we're at 19. And 20. Perfect. And now I can vent you out. Man, I love our advanced furnace. It's great. So we have two. I'm going to need quite a few of those. Alright, so we have some extra cable. There we go. Put you in here. We'll put you there. Kind of organize a little bit since I'm here. Let's see, the extra lights I can put in here, which I already have. I have 18 lights. Apparently, I don't know what I have. Alright. So let's head over here and try to figure out how I actually want to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it this way or not with all the sorters I'm going to need for this. Alright, so let's do... Let's get rid of this pipe here. I mean, so that's seven, which means I guess I could port put a, uh, an export shoot in here or an import shoot on this side I only really need one import shoot though hmm how do I want to do that? Do something like that. And that's where it grabs all the different crops that it wants to plant. And then what I could do is these two right here could be the import shoots and that's where it'll actually drop everything off. Oops. That's what I meant. Yeah, so then this is where it'll deposit everything. It goes through our sorting system, gets sorted, and then... Hmm. Hydration critical. How do I want to do this? Uh, 
I don't think it's gonna work like that. I'm, I'm probably just gonna have to have it like this for our on each side. Or I do it like that. Hydration critical. I could do it like this. Because then I can. Nope, I can't do it like that either. Dang it. Hmm. The only downside to this is the wiring. Which this one doesn't matter, but it's these ones. If I want to do that, I'm going to have to like put the wiring up like this or something. That one doesn't really matter, but... It's going to intersect with the Larry. Although, maybe it won't. Let's see if I do it like this. Should be fine, okay. So if I do something like this then. Let's test this out. You know, I need to turn this off. There we go. Um, I should have some extra shoots over here. All right, my water's getting really low, so I, I need to take care of that. That's not going to work. Well. It's probably just going to have to be four on each side unless I can figure something else out. But that's kind of what it's lo looking like I'm going to have to do. I am going to drink some water here really quick though because my guy's almost dead. continue working on this and trying to figure out how I want to do this. I really like this setup, but unfortunately the wiring is going to, the wiring's not going to let, let me do this. Like, you know, if the data port was on the top, that would be the best part, but unfortunately... That sucks. Um, can I intersect at all? No, shoots can't intersect cabling at all. That's kind of ridiculous, but so what I could potentially do here is what if I do something like this? So instead of right there, I could do it
right like this. Cabling's gonna have to go I'm probably still gonna have to uh, offset it though. There's really no good way to do this. Or, what if I do it like this? Nope. Maybe instead of doing it like that, I could do it... do it like this. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Yeah, I might just have to do it how I originally was was gonna do it. Unfortunately where the data cable is is the issue. Like that is probably the worst spot they could have put it like up on top makes a lot more sense but oh well because then I could like just put them right next to each other like this I'm gonna have to figure that out um what I'm gonna do in the meantime while I try to f figure out how I want to do this is I'm gonna continue working on our hanger basically it's just a bunch of welding that I need to do but I want to try to uh do that while I figure out how I want to do the shoot the shoots in there because that's that's the biggest issue all right let's grab all of the large batteries that I can and then let's grab a bunch of those steel sheets that I need Which I have quite a bit on me. That's not going to be enough, but you know, we'll see where that takes us. Alright. Yeah, trying to figure out how I want to do the shoots is going to be the biggest issue in the hydroponics room. Alright, so... Oh man, this is going to be a lot of welding. Honestly, it shouldn't take too long, though. Probably going to have to make this a little, little bit bigger. But, that's okay. I'm also going to need to make a bunch of landing pads too and runway parts. I can't wait to pressurize this. Because those uh, powered vents, will they push a lot of air through. I'm kind of wondering if what I'll do, instead of using the air that's in our base, maybe I'll have a separate tank. Maybe I'll do like a large tank or something for the oxygen that goes inside here. Because then it'll uh, pressurize and depressurize very very quickly Ugh. 
this is a lot of welding. Alright, so that's one battery down. Let's do this one since we're, it's only at 99% only. I'm also going to need a bunch of walls too. So I can properly do this because this is all going to be uh, just glass walls. We are almost there. <laughs> Bottom part's almost done. Because <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more, well, not really a lot more steel frame, uh, steel sheets now that I think about it, because I'm going to need a little bit more. So I'm going to have to make another trip inside regardless, but I could start working on the walls too. All right, bottom part's done, at least for right now. So, if this is the middle section right here, I could have three on each side. So I could have seven large hangar doors. That should be hopefully big enough for any aircraft that comes in here. Granted, I'm kind of worried that the, uh, the ceiling's too small or it's not tall enough. But then again, I don't know, I, I guess we'll find out. So this is three tall, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 11, so 33. Oh my God, we're gonna need so many walls. You know what, that's fine. Oh geez. This jetpack's ridiculous, and I love it. Alright, there's battery number two. I should have enough steel sheets for two rows here. So I think what I'm going to end up doing now is I'm going to charge our batteries obviously, but I'm thinking that if I make four stacks of steel sheets, that should be more than enough for what I need. And then yeah, I'm kind of thinking of having its own separate tank that I'll use to vent uh, and pressurize the, the hangar. All right, so let's put these batteries inside our charger here. There we go. We'll let those charge up. So let's top off our food and water since I'm in here and I'm thinking about it. I'm also going to have to make some more food. Yeah, we're at 3%. Okay, so I need a crap ton of walls. And by a crap ton, I mean 33, 66, 99. Oh, Jesus. So that'd be 132? See how, how good was my math right there? 132, yep. Alright, well. I don't think I have that much steel. Ooh, I actually might have that much steel. 
Alright, so I have some walls on me. So let's make a hundred... Well... Because they do in stacks of 30, so... We'll do 150. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm going to need some more steel. And all the walls. Because I have some extra walls on me already, so... 150 should be enough for the entire hangar. I hope. That's going to take forever. That's okay, though. I'm also going to need some more steel sheets. Which means I need... 25, 25, 25. I need 100 steel, so I'm going to have to go outside and make steel regardless here. Oh, we need so much of everything. Alright, so... That'll make... I didn't actually need two of them, but I mean, okay. Can I grab it from here? No, I can't. Fifty. Oops. Or, yeah. So I need. I have enough for one stack. That's fine. Apparently, math is hard. It's gonna be a while before I can actually use that coal. Uh, again so let's do let's get 50 out of there all right so we're gonna throw you in there two and three all right I'd like to say we're almost there, but we're not even close. I'm going to have to go get some more volatiles here pretty soon, too. Or I can trade for it. See, what else do I need for those hangar doors? I need gold, copper, and steel. Which I don't have enough of anything. That's fine. Alright, we're almost done processing everything. Slowly but surely. Do you check for road for road copper? Uh well, I kind of copper everywhere in here. Alright, one more and then we're good. Yeah, no, in my uh Vulcan playthrough. I had copper stuck in my furnace. Alright, we have steel. 
Um, let's get all of this out of here. I probably, I'm probably gonna have to go get some more volatiles here pretty soon, and we're almost there. So see how how many more how many volatiles do we currently have? I mean, we still have quite a few volatiles in here. So I mean, that's not terrible. We still have quite a bit of oxygen. Actually, our oxygen has had dwindled quite a bit, but that's mainly because I uh, expanded our hydroponics. Now, I'm going to need these powered vents eventually for our hangar. So we have wall one, we have wall two, and we're working on walls three, four, and five. So now it's just kind of a waiting game, but I guess what I can do is I can start working on um, the hangar, and I can actually start welding some of those other frames up since these are completely charged. We'll just put those right there for now. And let's head outside. Alright. Alright, so let's work on the top. So, steel sheets and arc welder. Much welding. All right. That was a lot of welding. Okay. Um, on the bright side, we're almost done here. And Jupiter looks so cool from this point of view. All right, so that's good to go. Let's start placing some of these walls that we have. Boom. This is ridiculous. All right, so we'll start on this side. How do I want to do that? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the air from our base. I'll probably have a couple of oxygen tanks or something along this wall right here, which is what we'll use for our powered vents. With that being said, if I use cladding, and I, I'm just going to do the walls regardless. I can always change them later if I have to. Jet 
jetpack's fine. Alright. So there's one section of wall done. Now, let's work on one of these other sections. That is so many walls. That's ridiculous, but I love it. All right. Jetpack low. I don't think I'm going to place the plastic just yet. I want to get all the walls done. I also want to get the clad in. I think I know how, how I want to do this hanger part too. I'm gonna need so much cladding. Oh my god. Oh, good thing I have iron. Part of me thinks I need to build another um, auto lathe for everything that I need. Alright, let's turn off our light, turn off our so I don't waste power and oh my god you guys are finally done that might be enough um let's do some more steel so this will be steel sheets And then we have the walls. So let's go continue placing those walls while those steel sheets are being made. Yeah, so I'm going to have a few more walls than what I actually need because I kind of just included the hangar doors too, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three on each side. So there's just going to be six walls on each side. And then the doors are going to go right here. So yeah, these are going to be fairly big doors. Okay, so the walls are complete for the most part. Um, I need some steel sheets for the top part still. I need to make some more hangar doors. Uh, and then I need a crap ton of plastic. And windows in order to get this all figured out. I also need a bunch of cladding as well. But we had a lot more walls than what I actually needed, which is fine because I'm going to need walls later regardless, but uh, let's make the hangar doors. So I need three, six, nine, I need 15 hangar doors. Just a few.
But yeah, I think having our own separate oxygen tanks for uh, that room is not a bad thing by any means. So, gold, copper, and steel. So, I need 15. Holy cow, let's see here. 375 steel. Just a little bit. I grabbed the wrong one. Alright, let's get all of this out of here. So 375 steel, and then... 75 gold and copper. this should make 15 hangar doors for us which is you know just a little bit all right and you're almost done so I'm gonna wait for you to finish before I actually head back outside um, and then I need I'm gonna have to make a bunch of plastic like 150 plastic is what I'm gonna need so that's 75 and then I'm also going to need a bunch of glass too which I do have glass here but that's not going to be nearly enough but it'll at least be a start alright so let's do plastic sheets and let's head back outside really quick and finish welding up that hanger And then I'm also going to have to cook some more food here pretty quick, too. This part shouldn't take too much longer. battery which is fine let's swap it out I probably only needed the 50 which means I have an extra stack of steel sheets if I need it which I'm, I'm gonna need it for the airlock now that I think about it Just about there. And done. Oh, okay. So I have a little bit more to weld right here, which is no big issue. And yeah, the powered vents are going to go right here. So, what I might actually do... Because there's going to be six. So, if I do six, then just have the pipe. Probably don't actually... Hmm... 
Hmm. I can probably weld all this up now that I think about it. Because I don't really need anything within these top parts here. Oh, jeez. And I can weld the bottom part, too. Yeah, I can weld this bottom part. And then I can probably weld these, because if I do the powered vents, I can put the pipe in the middle, and then put it in these separate tanks right here. Yeah, let's do that. Do I have enough charge? Nope, I don't. Man, those batteries drain quick. Alright, we'll keep these ones open for now. So... Alright, that looks good. So let's make a couple of stacks of cladding so I can figure out how I actually want to do this. Because this is going to be an airlock regardless. Actually, what I can do is I can weld let's get some piping because we're gonna have because I could do since this is a bigger airlock, I could uh, have the bigger vents in here too. Which I, I have the vents on me, and I have some walls, so let's let's do this. And then, I guess what I could do right here is I could do some windows. Do something like that. I could just do it like that. Have a big one there and have a big one right here. That'll probably be overkill for the airlock, but it'll be kind of fun. Yeah, let's do it like that. That's going to be fun. So, that said, if I bring it around like this and down. I could do the same thing on this side. Alright. My water is getting dangerously low again. And I feel like I just drank water. Alright. So we'll do that. There we go. This is going to be overkill for this airlock, but you know what? It'll be fun. And then I can do like the console and stuff on, you know, this side. And then I need six more massive vents, which will go right here. And then we'll see how quickly it can uh, take all the air out of here. Trying to heat this up is going to be the biggest challenge, I think, which... Flares aren't going to do the trick. I'm going to have to figure something else out.
All right, let's head back inside. And let's drink some water, and I'm going to have to make some more food here really quick, too. All right. I have quite a few potatoes left. You think that spaceship engines would stay hot? I mean, I agree with that. That would be a very easy way to, uh, heat up one space. But unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. Oh no, we're out of soy oil. That's okay, we have more soybeans. And we have french fries. Canned french fries, because, you know, everything's better out of a can. Alright, so food and water are taken care of. And there's all of our hangar doors. Perfect. And all of our plastic sheets. Which... These walls I can actually put over here for right now. I am going to need some pipe and stuff as well, so you know what, let's get rid of you guys. What else do I need for the hangar doors? Steel sheets, which I have a bunch of steel sheets, so we should be fine. Okay, so let's head back outside. Actually, before I do that... We're throwing all of you in there, and we are going to make glass. All the glass. I also need some electronic parts, too. Iron, gold, and copper. Because I want to actually make our airlock here really quick. Alright. Uh, I also have a transformer too. I'm going to need another transformer for our hangar, but I'm kind of far from actually having our hangar ready. And I'm going to call the episode here in about 10 minutes anyways. Although it'll be nice once the airlock's done, because I can just come through here instead of having to go out that way. Alright, so... I think I have a bunch of plastic sheets on me. Yeah, that's that's gonna be so overkill for that airlock. Oh well. So the cladding is right here.
how do I want to do that? I know how to do it. So maybe I'll do the piping first. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna have one, two, I could have three tanks right here. Tank one, tank two, tank three, and then these will go up like this. Two pipe short but that's going to do something like that and then I'm going to have to wire it all up which is fine uh, what I can do is actually start just putting the plastic sheets on these windows over here though I don't necessarily have to do that section quite yet you know, let's do the top part first so that I don't have to waste my jetpack Actually worked really well. <laughs> Alright, so that side's done. Let's do this side. top part This section's not done yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna hold off. Well, I can probably do these walls right here. These, these ones are probably good to go. You know, the fun part is I'm gonna have to do this on the outside of it too. But that's okay, all right. So that's looking good there. That looks good there. I need I need a bunch of powered vents, which is fine. All right, let's grab the hangers. Okay. 
Alright, and there's the hangar doors. And if I remember correctly, I believe it's plastic sheets is what I need. Oh, seal sheets. Power low. Oh yeah, that's looking good. And then I'm gonna have to automate this so when I uh, basically I'll, I'll probably just have to turn this into a giant airlock too. So when I go to open the hangar, it vents all the atmosphere out, leaves, and then when I which will keep the door open, and then when I when a trader comes in. I press the button, it'll close the door, pressurize it, and then hopefully my people in here don't, you know, die, but this is looking good. Alright, so let's continue on this airlock here, which means I'm going to need, let's do this really quick. I, I, I need a bunch of cladding as well. So, since this is where our power is going to be, let's put the... Okay, I can't see anything. There we go. So, we'll put the transformer right here. We'll have our, our main power line come through, probably right through here. Actually, I could have our main power line come through right here, too, since I'm not going to actually extend our pipe network this way. We'll do something like that, and then I'll have my console and stuff on this side, probably. Or, we can just do it right here. There we go, and I'll do something like that. So let's actually set this perfect and we'll do you there and we'll do you like that. Um, all I need to do is hook up power, get a couple of doors in here, then this airlock's good to go. So speaking of power. We'll do that. All right. So once I get that airlock done, I'm going to call the episode here, which shouldn't be too much longer. All right. So let's do this. All right. So the downside is trying to figure out how to do this. Cause that's going that way, so the only place... Actually, I know how to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this like that.
There we go. All right, and then this is going to get disconnected. Like that. And then this cable is going to come like this. There we are. So now that's active. I'm going to need a couple of paths of vents. And then a couple of doors, and then we should be good. And we have a bunch of glass. That's perfect. So I need two doors. Do I have a console? I do have a console. I don't need any more console. So what we'll do is we'll do advanced airlock. I also need a GAT sensor, which I have to make that as well. Oops. And then the airlock should be almost done. I do need some passive vents, which I can make over here. I need two of these. All right, let's go finish this airlock. Pass event right there. Mighty impressive door. I know, right? <laughs> Bam. There's the door. And then that goes there. this all right so this should be airtight So what we're going to do is inward, inward, man, that sucks the air out of here so freaking fast. All right, we should be good. So I should be able to disconnect this window. Sweet. Oops. Wrong one. We're going to disconnect that is what I was trying to do. And then wall. And let's place door. On the downside, I'm going to have to deconstruct all that to actually get out, but, you know, that's fine. 
All right, sweet. Airlock's done. Uh, I'm just going to label these doors here really quick. So let's do interior and exterior. All right, and let's do exterior, interior, sensor. Interior and exterior. Oh, that works perfectly. I love the, the big old powered vents. That's so fast. <laughs> Alright. So, in the next episode, I'm gonna dismantle this so I can actually get out of my airlock here, but, uh, yeah, we actually did quite a bit this episode. I expanded our hydroponics um, bay, which I need to figure out how I want to do the shoot network in there because of where the freaking data cable goes just makes it a lot more complicated than it actually needs to be. Um, so I'm going to figure out how to do that before the next episode. And then we almost completed our hangar here. We have a pretty sweet airlock. I need to get a bunch of powered vents in here. And then I need to obviously make this airtight with windows. And then I need to get this all automated and stuff. And get the trader uh, landing pads in here and make a runway and everything. But this is coming along quite nicely. So, yeah, we have a lot of work to do in the next couple of ep episodes. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Hey, thanks. And you too.